Right, so we are in video three of worksheet 38, our isometric drawing, and in this video we're going to look at um, finishing off all this inf these corners uh, and, and edges to the model on the side view. All right, so we know it's 50 up. You can see, you just got to come in and have a look here at the profile and then go back to CAD and start using and uh, start working off those edges we have. All right, so we've set it up pretty much for us to finish quite quickly here. I'm going to make sure I've got my line command on and I'm on, um, I'm on outlines and you can see here I'm just going to draw this down to the bottom right to intersect that um, that uh, the bottom of the, the construction we have there then I can line command and join those two up right now be smart instead of redrawing everything there I can just copy those two uprights and that bottom edge I don't need the, to copy the top edge right so I've selected this U shape here right and I go copy I'm going to take the back corner and then I'm just going to go down, shift it across and I don't have to redraw, right? Now that that's in place, remember you can go and redraw that, that's also not a problem and I'm just trying to be a bit quicker. If we go to the PDF here, before I draw any more edges, you'll see that it's a 40 drop to where the sort of the seat is of this portion, okay? That's a 40 drop. So if I come back to CAD here, I'm going to use that first, I'm, I'm going to do that first and you'll see why now. I'm going to go in and get that little drop of 40. So line command, drop it down 40, enter. Now I can start to rotate my cursor as needed. Right, so I'm going to go that way, F5, I want to like that. Click, and then I just come to intersect that edge there. You'll see if you go look at your PDF that that's, the, uh, that's where it'll, be, it'll go hidden behind that little base edge there. Then over here, Line command again, rotate my cursor, and I'm just going to start there, and I'm going to go just beyond to intersect, and then trim that edge off as well. Now we have the asymmetric perfectly crafted, and what we're going to do now is we're going to create another layout uh, for this object, and that we'll do in the next video.